remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? This is an update from a story I covered a year or so ago about a real man, a true G, a true OG. He goes by the name of Ali Miller. Remember that name because we need many more like him. He was walking on the street one day and he saw a couple of youngsters fighting in the middle of the street. He approached them. He was like, yo, yo, man, what y'all doing? You know, and he started pointing at the people who was filming the fight. He said, see, y'all, y'all, y'all the real cowards. You, you the real cowards. You the real cowards. All y'all recording, y'all the real cowards. And he said, man, what y'all doing? Y'all in the middle of the street fighting. And he pointed at one. He said, see, you, I could tell you madder than him. You know, like, you don't, you don't even know what you're fighting for. Okay, so the one guy said, well, I'm defending myself. He said, okay, well, you ain't in the wrong. You're not in the wrong. You're defending yourself. But you don't even, you don't even know what you, you know, what you're fighting to do over. And he said, look, at, look around you. Look around you. Listen to what's happening. He, said, he made him stop. He was like, listen, they're laughing at you. All the people that was filming was like, yeah, yeah, get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him. They're laughing at the two guys fighting laughing at them and the two boys paused and they started just really listening to what dude had to say he said man y'all 14 15 16 17 y'all not boys anymore y'all men y'all young men pointed to the girls said y'all young women so you can't be acting like this don't do your parents this way don't do your parents like this and what I appreciated was the fact that they listened because he may have saved their lives. You try to think, where does this type of mentality come from? Before I answer that question, let me get through this particular story. So he continues on and he explains to them uh, the importance of trying to get along and how pretty much ignorant it is for them to be out in the middle of the streets fighting it. And he pointed at one of the kids that was in the crowd. He said, you, look, look, I know you. I know your, pe I know your people. They work hard to get to where they got. And he said, he pointed at another one. He said, your, your daddy in jail. He said, I know y'all. He said, y'all live in this neighborhood. Y'all live in a good place. Trying to explain to him, explain to them what are y'all wilding for? What are y'all trying to be hard for? What's the whole idea of standing around recording each other fighting? And he said, look at him. He's supposed to be your man. He can't stop laughing at you. That's supposed to be your partner. And he can't stop laughing. So they're looking at these two youngsters fighting who appear to be about 15, 16 years old. But they're looking at them fighting and they're going, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're laughing the whole time that these two are basically in the middle of the street making a fool out of themselves. If the police roll up, ain't no telling what would have happened. Police could have rolled up and you know how they get down. One of them boys could end up getting laid down and never gotten up again. But people don't think that far through. So where does this type of mentality come from? The dude was like, if y'all, y'all need to shake hands. And I'm not leaving until y'all shake hands. They reluctantly shook hands. At first, the, the, one of the guys didn't want to shake hands at all. And he, and he said, listen, listen. They telling him to listen to the people laughing at him. They could listen to his friends laughing at him again. And then he said, man, y'all shake hands, man. And they reluctantly shook hands. And... Today, I'm proud to report that the boys are best friends now. So where does this type of thinking come from? The inability to reason, which they probably learned at home like I did. 
I told you before, I come from a place where you learn to settle conflict with fist guns and insults. So needless to say, reason was not one of my stronger points. Reason is defined as the power of the mind to think, understand, and to make judgments by a process of logic. In other words, before I pull this trigger, before I throw this punch or put myself in a dangerous situation where I can have my life taken, well, hell, I got to be able to justify it. It's got to make sense. So let me think about this first before I get caught up in this conflict. Let me think about what are the ramifications of my actions. What could possibly happen? There's a number of things that could happen when you engage in conflict. Now, you know what you're going to do. But you don't know what the other person is going to do. You don't know what that bystander is going to do. What their homie is going to do. You have no idea. All you know is what you're going to do what you're thinking about doing and you might be able to do what you're thinking about doing but you can't control what happens after that you see somebody might get you right after that you have to think about well what happens to this guy okay i took him out so now his family is left heartbroken well, maybe you don't care nothing about this family. But what about your own family? Now you go to jail or you get taken out and now your family is heartbroken. Do you really love your mama? You gonna put your mama through that kind of pain? See, I didn't really think about that kind of stuff when I was putting my mama through it. I just really didn't think about it. I just thought that it was all about me and I just considered my pain, what I was going through. I didn't really think about what my mama was already going through raising five kids on her own. Yeah, these are choices she made, but she made as a youngster. Uh, nevertheless, here we are, and she's doing this all by herself, and she's having uh, problems coping with real life, so she drinks herself uh, to sleep, and she abuses her children. And I'm just thinking about my, my situation. So I never thought about the additional burdens that I was putting on her. I didn't think about that kind of stuff. Didn't think about it until she died. So reason is one of those things that we have to, it's, a, it's an art to it. But one of the things that you can do, especially if you do from the hood, Play out a lot of scenarios in your head before they ever happen. If I do this, this is going to happen. If I do this, this may happen. If I do this, I'll get this amount of time. If I do this, it's going to cost this amount of money for a lawyer before anything happens. My bond is probably going to be this. Think about the bond money. Think about the lawyer money. Think about what it's going to cost you to survive uh, while you locked up and how you're going to take care of your people and the consequences it'll have if you have any little kids, you know, the consequences that it'll have, the toll it'll have on them watching their mother lay up with another man. Having another man tell your kids what to do. Trying to raise babies from the pen. Think about those consequences. That's what we have to think about. And I see this happening way too often. And I'm going to be specific about this. Uh, this problem is more pervasive. This this hand-to-hand -hand combat stuff going on on a daily basis and uh, sh shooting up the hood and all this stuff. This happens more you know, between black people and Hispanic people. This is where most of this stuff is happening in the streets. Not saying that white folks ain't violent, but they just do stuff a, a little differently. But... I'm talking about the way we operate. I know for a fact, a lot of white dudes, like if a white dude, typically, white dude have a problem with another white dude, and he might 
somebody might fill his head up, some ideas that this dude got a problem with him, so he want to fight him. Now, let's say David calls Josh and say, hey, Josh, hey, what's going on, man? Hey, man, uh, such and such said that you wanted to, you want to fight me, man. Like, you know, like, I don't want to fight you, man. I thought we were friends. He trying to get an understanding. Like, David's like, man, I ain't trying to fight this dude, man. You know, I ain't trying to get ruin my life, uh, you know, and be out there fighting like dogs in, in, the, in the street. On the other hand, and this happened to me. Me and one of my partners who we actually ended up being best friends. Somebody had told me he had a problem with me. This is before we became friends. He had a problem with me and told him that I guess I had a problem with him. So we walk around for like, and we live in the same neighborhood, so we walking around for like days, not speaking to each other, looking up, looking at each other upside the head. And, you know, the moment that something happened, I can't remember exactly. Yeah, it was something said. Uh, I'm ashamed to say what it was about, but it was very petty. We locked up. And we locked up because it, it was so petty. And but we just had to get it on. Like we just had to get it on. And all we had to do is just have a conversation. And we still we we would have we can't probably would have became friends, friends without the conflict. You deal with what I'm saying? And because we had mutual respect for each other anyway, because my boy was you know, he was he was very dangerous. Um, he's not with us anymore, but I respect, he was well respected. But anyway, um, that's where I'm going with this, y'all. Reasoning. We got to get to a point to where we think things through. Think these actions through. Just like you think through a job position, you think through if you're going to go out and build a deck you think about the tools you need to build a deck, how much money is going to cost you for the deck, how much time you're going to have to invest in it, what day of the week you're going to do it, uh, what time of the day you're going to start doing it because, you know, you start hammering and stuff like that and, and using drills and all that kind of stuff. You might wake your neighbors. So all of this stuff has to be planned out. So just like you would plan out building a deck, you have to plan out conflict if conflict is imminent. Most of it can be avoided. This is why it's very important to have men raising young men. Because I don't care how great mama is. It's something about that man voice and that man experience that a young man is just going to respect more. He's going to adhere to those commands more than he would if it was a female. That's just the way it is. We got to get to that point in our lives as soon as possible where we know how to exercise reason. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.